We're feeling a lot more stressed these days in large part because of the pandemic, but there are ways to ease the load. Joining us with some tips is Terry Melhoff, a nurse practitioner at the Salt Lake Community College. Terry, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, this is I mean, this is so important. Just kind of giving us tools and reminders of ways to improve our mood and our stress levels naturally. So what do you recommend? What do you think is like top priority? The very top is sleep. We have to prioritize sleep and by prioritize, I mean, turn off electronics a couple hours before you want to go to bed and develop kind of a soothing bedtime routine. This is so hard. I think the electronic thing, I, I feel like I have a good routine, but like turning off the phone, you know what I mean, is, is really challenging, yep. but that light is, is, can be really damaging. For sure. What else do you recommend? So I also think that we eat a lot of uh, foods that aren't real foods. They have ingredients in them that you don't recognize as food items, and so neither does your body. So if it comes in a bag or a box and it's ready to eat with a list of ingredients, don't eat it. Just eat things that are, are the ingredient. Got it. So eating those real foods. Yep, exactly right. Okay. And then, and then exercise also is incredibly important for mood, especially because you create a lot of endorphins. So really 30 minutes a day, especially if it's outside and it's coupled with kind of a mindfulness like, oh, look at the trees, look at the sky, uh, can really be beneficial for mood. Got it. You Okay, you gave a little bit of example of mindfulness there. Would you mind expanding on that? I think maybe we associate mindfulness with like meditation, but it doesn't necessarily need to be that intense. No, not at all. You don't have to like navel gaze in order to meditate. You can literally walk around and instead of thinking about what am I going to make for dinner tonight or what happened last week, you're literally like looking at the trees move in the breeze. You're looking at the color of the sky. You're smelling things and and it, mindfulness is really like, what is it like to be in my body in this exact moment? And so the more we can stay in this moment, the better off our mood will be. And can you tie the knot for me? How does that kind of mindfulness and making sure our physical bodies are okay help us with those stress levels? So it, it's, it's strange because it, it happens in like a multifaceted way, like we're complicated creatures. So there's some gut bugs that live in your intestines and they create a lot of those neurotransmitters like GABA and dopamine, um, which is why I recommend that people eat fermented foods uh, every single day. And then a lot of fruits and vegetables that have some fiber that feed that gut bacteria is also good. Um, but you can create endorphins. I think, you know, people who are more anxious are looking very much ahead and people who are a little more depressed are looking very much behind them. So that mindfulness is like staying in that exact moment and it sort of eliminates some of those mood issues. Got it. Okay, Terry, so what I'm hearing, good sleep, good eating habits, some exercise every day and making sure to kind of center and ground yourself, give yourself some space to think. Anything else you'd recommend? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Support your gut. Um, you're doing that. If you're eating real food, you're gonna support your gut in that way. Um, we need a social support now more than ever. So. T reach out to people, talk to them, reconnect, and then a sense of play as adults is also really important. A sense of play, I love that. Giving yourself some time to kind of be yourself with all this craziness. Yeah. Yep. All right, Terry, thank you so much for these tips. I really appreciate it. Have a great one. Thank you.